everyone! Welcome to this video. Um, this goes along with Spiegel Mom Scraps Blog Hop. Uh, so if you're interested in the blog hop, I'll leave a link below. For this video, I'm going to show you how I altered and created these beautiful tags. The tags are from the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop, as is the Dazzlers I'm going to use, and the sequins, which are the wedding bell sequins. So these are photos of um, my sister's wedding in June and my plan is to make, uh, you'll see here I'm kind of showing you, is to make kind of like these layered tags across the bottom of the page and then I'm going to place my title down there. So I went ahead and made four of these tags and I'm going to make two on camera using the Barely Blue Dazzlers. This blue is beautiful. I love it so, so, so much. So all I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and like smear, just put a little smear of uh, the Dazzlers on the tags. Um, not super thick, not super thin, just to get it the way I like it. So if I like the way that the little smear looks, then I'm good. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put my sequins right onto the tag just across the bottom. Push them in a little bit, move them around a little bit, um, tap them so that any that are like loose will come off. And then um, pick off the ones that look small or look like they're not really attaching to the Dazzlers and uh, things like that. So I'm just coating the bottom of the tags with the sequins. And then I'm going to, I put, did this all on a white piece of cardstock so I could put it right back into my little dish and start again with another one. So the same thing, we're just going to smear the Dazzlers on and then dump the sequins on. So pretty easy. Uh, these tags did take a good bit of time to dry and they uh, also did want to warp a little bit or curl up like you'll see that blue one on the page. But to be perfectly honest, once they completely dried, uh, I heard Tim Holtz say once, uh, paper has no memory and as soon as they were dry you could flatten them out and um, you know put them right back where they are uh, straight so here we have all of our tags dried and ready to go and don't they look beautiful now I wanted to make sure that no sequins were gonna fall off of these tags so I am kind of really like just attacking them I'm like smacking them on that paper I wanted to make sure that any sequins that were loose and not attached to the dazzlers were gonna fall off Okay, so now my tags are done and they're dry, and now I'm putting super sticky adhesive on the bottoms of them um, to get them stuck down. And banging them around and kind of abusing those tags really did work because uh, I did this layout maybe two or three weeks ago, and I kind of let it sit on a table, and I shook it around a whole bunch before um, I put it on my pile to go in my albums, and the sequins stayed on beautifully. So now what I'm doing is, so of course we smeared our tag on, um, and off camera I did put some Distress Ink in Vintage Photo all around the edges of the tags. Uh, but there are spots where, okay, so I wanted the tags to look like intentionally smeared, like artistically smeared, like it's supposed to be that way, but um, I'm a little sloppy, so some of them ended up with little smears that I didn't look intentional, just looked messy. So I'm covering those up with sequins as you do so that they then, we just have the intentional artistic looking smears and not the random, you know, parts where my fingers got into the dazzlers. So now, um, okay, so these wedding, these wedding photos of my sister, when we, when I got these photos, I was having a hard time finding a collection that had the colors from her wedding. So her wedding was navy blue and coral. It was very rustic-y. It was outside. Um, you know, she had a reception in this amazing barn, and, like, it was really beautiful wedding. Um, but no collections really seemed to kind of go with it. So I actually asked my awesome, amazing scrapbook Facebook friends on for ideas, and one of them said to get um, products from Pretty Little Studio, the Woodland Collection. Well, I had never really shopped at Pretty Little Studio, I, and now I'm addicted, totally addicted. Uh, so this this is the Woodland Collection, and I bought tons of it, and I love it. It's beautiful. Um, and then I also um, ended up buying one other line from them, and now I'm like, 
I'm, I'm a little, it's, I'm a little addicted to their beautiful products now. Anyway, they're gorgeous. So what I did was, was I took these two 8x8 papers and I'm going to kind of stagger them and stack them up and use them as a place for my photos. I'm also going to work on my title. Now, I did my title off camera because uh, what ended up happening was I used these older letter stickers from Studio Calico. So the letter stickers needed lots and lots of extra adhesive to stick to the Dazzlers. And um, then I just kind of put um, some seam binding and some elastic trim that I had in my stash through the holes in the shipping tags. And you'll see me kind of start that process, but I turned my camera off, my iPad off, because honestly, I thought that it would be like paint drying to watch me glue down each of these little gold letters. And I also kind of decided, well, most people know how to tie ribbon into the tops of tags, so I left that out too. But I just used some seam binding and some other um, trim from my stash to do the tops of the tags, and then there is my title with the letters and some wood veneer from my stash. Also, I think I maybe forgot to mention, I know I talked about the Barely Blue, but the other two colors of uh, the other, well, one was the Dazzlers and one is the Textures. So the gold is a Textures in Gold Mines, and that corally color is Dazzlers in Coral Me Crazy. So now I have all these really beautiful, large floral die cuts from the Woodland Collection, and I'm just, I know I want to tuck one in to the side of that photo, uh, but I wasn't sure which one. So I'm just trying them all out till I find the one that looks, uh, that I like there at the top. And then I'm going to take this doily. These doilies are also from the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. And I'm going to cut the little edge off and I'm going to use it in two places. Uh, I'm So that one will fit behind the flower and then one will go over at the top right there. And now I'm just going to add some little bits and pieces to this layout. Um, some These are the die cuts from the Woodland Collection. I'm just going to go through them and I think I end up with two. I put a little flower down there at the bottom underneath the beginning of my title and then a little die cut that says love up at the top. And the only other real embellishment I'm going to add, you'll see me kind of go through all these tags here, but the only other embellishment I'm going to add are some flares. Uh, these flares are from a flare for buttons and uh, as soon as I saw them in um, the shop I knew that they would go really well with my wedding photos and uh, they match the Woodland Collection really well. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to fidget with them a little bit because I wasn't quite sure um, how many I wanted to use on the layout and I really just end up using that one yellow one at the bottom. I kind of wanted to put them in two places but it didn't seem to really fit real well. Um, so I just used that one down at the bottom. And now I'm taking those uh, wedding bell sequins and I'm putting them and scattering them up into the top of the layout. This is something I do like to do when I'm using sequins is to make sure that they kind of aren't, even if they're concentrated in one area, to make sure they kind of flow through the rest of the page. And this is the end of our beautiful page, and here are some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching today, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!